Oh, Capcom. Oh, Capcom. Oh, 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 Capcom. <sighs> My degenerates, this is going to be one of those videos. I can't believe I got to make a video on goddamn Capcom and their nonsense, but... I'm going to do it because as much as I love Capcom, Capcom's my favorite company. And I think lately they've been just killing it. They have just been raising the bar all the time with their game. Uh, Capcom has been doing some questionable things, such as the microtransactions for Street Fighter 6. And also uh, the collaboration skins for Street Fighter 6 has been hilariously bad. I'm just going to call it how I see it. Hilarious bad. But the whole banning mods. I don't know how I feel about that. That's that's way worse. That's way worse. So for those that don't know, uh, recent news has come out that Capcom is banning mod in particular because they added this new DRM. And for those that don't know what DRM, to give you the short version of it, is basically digital rights management. It basically stops you from pirating. It's a program that stops you from pirating games. Um, and the newest one that they've added in for their older titles like Resident Evil 5 and Resident Evil Revelation and a few of their Mega Man games uh, basically has prevented modding on those games. So uh, according to a bunch of modders, you cannot mod those games. In addition, uh, it is messing with the frame rate and the causes stutters and this mod is called the enigma mod and no we are not referring to enigma from the batman rose gallery not the riddler no it's just this this new damn drm is fucking with mods and it's led a whole big controversy a lot of information has come out about this whole situation to the point where certain modders like Fluffy, I don't know if anybody's ever you knows about Fluffy. Uh, he makes a lot of the mod managers uh, program for the RE engine games. And also, you know, Maximilian has talked about it. And also Mudahar has gone on extensive detail on what exactly the new DRM is doing and what's the information on that all is and i just wanted to make this video to talk about all this stuff but after listening to those videos and after doing my own research onto the whole matter myself i think a lot of this whole situation has been blown out of proportion and i think for the most part and i want to put an asperage on that for the most part i think there's a lot of not good research being done on this whole topic and i don't think capcom is necessarily in the wrong so let me explain for a longest time a lot of people thought the reason why capcom is doing this now and why they're cracking down so hard on the drm and the modding community so hard now is because of the whole chung lee situation and for those that don't know the, the street fighter 6 had this little side tournament thing where it was streamed and whatnot and one of the modders had you know the chung lee nudes out in the open and everybody got to see that shit and so it prompted capcom to say we're not doing mods anymore fuck mods when in actuality, that is not the case. Uh, there's always been DRM in Capcom games. Anytime you pick up a new Capcom game, be prepared for DRM. Um, usually, they probably use probably Denuvo, which Resident Evil 8 had it, and it made the game a little sluggish um, and hit performance wise. But then, when the game, like a few months later, they took it out. And it made the game run 10 times better. But they usually do this at the start of their games because they want the games to sell like hotcakes. Me personally, and I can only speak on my experience from Capcom games, because I probably have a high-end PC, I've never ran into any many problems running their games at at least 60 frames per second, stable 60 frames in 4K, no problem at all. 
never had had that issue, haven't had that issue, and a few other people have said they have not run into any issues running running the running their games with DRM on. However, your miles may vary. Where I think what happened is Capcom has always been against modding because it is a Japanese owned company. A lot of these Japanese owned companies don't like when you mod their games. Um, look at um, Nintendo of all people. They do not like when you mod their games. All right. So there, that's one company, you know, that is extremely against it. Um, Capcom has just been tolerant of it. They've just been like, we don't like it, but, you know, we'll tolerate it. We'll tolerate it. I know Sega is a little bit on board. However, certain games they're just not cool with. Um, for instance, the Judgment series. They have not. I remember there was a huge controversy back in the day where they didn't want to put that series on the PC because they didn't want people to mod the mod the actor's uh, face because of the company where the where they get the actors from. Um, don't allow that, so it was really difficult to get it on PC. So the only person that's really cool with it is Sega. Everybody else is kind of either we don't tolerate it or we, we kind of tolerate it. Uh, I know FromSoft do not tolerate mods at all, um, and that's because and is going to lean into what I'm going to say early later on. That's because that is online, like. All of FromSoft games, for the most part, runs online. Always online. Um, so you can connect because the game has online functionalities. And people, they do not want people cheating. Cheating. So that's why, if you are using mods, they will ban your account. Uh, so FromSoft don't fucking play. They usually tolerate it if you just keep it offline. So that's the thing. And so... For the point I'm trying to make with this all is that Capcom views mods as cheating. And I personally actually agree. If you are using mods in an online environment, whether that be in Street Fighter, whether that be in any game that requires two players or multiplayer components, and you are using mods, that is considered cheating. They are right to want to say no, you cannot do that to our IPs. You cannot use our IPs in a negative light, such as putting nudes on characters like Chung Li. Maybe if you do it in Cammy, we'll be okay, because Cammy is, Cammy is the best girl. You know how it is for me. Anywho, that is wrong. They don't like that. And they have all right to say, no, we are banning that shit. That is shit is wrong. However, where I think Capcom is wrong, is if they're saying everyone's being punished for using mods. That's nonsense because there are so much great things that come out of mods. In particular, look at the Resident Evil community. The Resident Evil community makes some incredible mods. One mod in particular I love from Resident Evil is the randomizer mods where enemies and item placements are in different locations so you don't know where the fuck anything is at and it leads to some hilarious moments like you walk in a fucking door and then all of a sudden a fucking boss is right in front of the next room and you're like what the fuck that and it leads to so much incredible moments of fucking the devil may cry community we all know devil may cry three and four does not have training mode what did the Devil May Cry community do? We added in our own training mode and it helps us learn different combos, helps us learn like the be best time for like royal guards and whatever, just practice. So for me, it, it does affect me. And so I am annoyed if this is the route they're taking, but Capcom never ever has ever said that they're getting rid of mods. They're not getting rid of mods. It's just whatever DRM, the new DRM they have used compared to what they were using before, fucks with mods. However, from what I gathered, 
you can still use mods. It's just the mods that's fucking up with this particular DRM with this Enigma DRM. It's fucking up. It's it's fucking up trainer mods. So for those that don't know what trainer mods is, basically they're like cheat codes. So you can like change the the variables of certain elements in the game. So for instance, let's just say you want infinite money. Well, you can add in like nine 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 point nine for for money, like and so you'll have infinite money. Or oh, you want all the enemies to just stop? You can. Oh, you want to make yourself invincible or have infinite health? You can do that. That's the only thing it does. It fucks with the trainer. Other than that, you can still. And from what I've from what I've seen, you can still add in costume mods. You can still mess with um, you know gun mods. You can still mod the game. You just you can't mess with the trainers. So this might have an effect on people like me who likes to use uh, the trainer mods to use it to get a lot of money. Or for people like Under the Mayo, shout out to my boy Under the Mayo. I don't agree with half of the things sometimes he say in videos, but he's the coolest YouTuber. So shout out to my boy Under the Mayo. Uh, he prefers Resident Evil 4 to have the FOV slider back because he believes that the FOV slider is a little too far on to the character's um, back, which understandable. Some people prefer the FOV slider to be um a little far away or whatever so that's completely fine so again it will affect them but you know for the most part catcon's not getting rid of mods you could still mod every single capcom game up to this point you can mod all of the newer capcom games all of the re engine games you can still mod them catcon's not stopping you from modding However, whatever the whatever DRM they have chosen is messing with mods, and they need to fix that. So I will I will harp on Capcom on that. Like you need to fix that. You know, mods are extremely fun. When you guys was unable to give us Devil May Cry Five Collected Edition um Special Edition, what did the mods say? Well, fuck it. We'll add in. Uh, turbo mode will add in higher frame rate so I don't want to lose mods you know so Capcom get your shit together all right get your shit together because a lot of communities love mods you know so if you want to add DRM fine but don't add it and fuck up other mods especially trainers people eat those shits. some people want those shits because they add accessibility to games that don't have accessibility. Another thing, in terms of performance, I've tested Resident Evil 5 on my computer and it runs completely fine. I have 4K, 60 frames per second, it runs beautiful. I didn't run into any stutters or anything. So this um, situation is gonna be from game to game and it's gonna be interesting to see what we find out later, but for the most part, all the games run fine. And it may be, it might run a little wonky on weaker hardware, but for the most part, if you have a high-end PC, I think you should be fine. Or a mid-level PC, you should be fine. But it may vary. Everyone's PC is different. So there's that. And as for the whole Capcom removing videos that have mods, in particular the Monster Hunter. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Monster Hunter is always online. So I don't know if this person, and I didn't watch their video, didn't play played the game online or offline. However, I will say Capcom, don't remove videos. Um, Maximilian has talked about how like even some of his videos have gotten taken down, uh, and he hasn't even done mods. It's just sometimes Capcom is just really weird when it comes on the video. But yeah, that is weird, and I don't personally like that Capcom's taking down people's videos if they are showing off mods. Now, if it's to show off mods on, hey, you know, you can mod the game and Monster Hunter to get a bunch of rare materials that normally is hard to get in a Monster Hunter game, that's cheating. 
and that's bullshit. <laughs> and let's not do. That. Uh, but other than that, I think it's completely wrong for them to say, yeah, we're removing um, videos. But to put an end to this video, let me just start by saying this. You know, I love Capcom. I love them to death. And like I said earlier in the video, when Capcom fucks up, I'm going to be on their ass. But for me, based off of my research, based off what I did, I don't see that Capcom has any desire to remove mods it's just whatever drm they established for those old games fucked with the mods and i know the mod community they'll find ways to get past it they, 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 we are troopers all right we are troopers we are in the trenches 24 7 they'll find a way how to get past it but i think this is also a cautionary tale that you need to watch these companies like a fucking hawk because i love capcom but how they've handled this situation is fucked. And it's only a matter of time before they decide to make a new engine, which they are. The REX, the RE Rex, I should say, is coming. And we do not know if this will allow you to mod Capcom games. And we have to make our voice known and make our wallets known that we will not tolerate not being able to mod our games into a piece into a game we paid 60 or 70 bucks for these games let us do whatever the fuck we want unless it's playing that shit online modding it online or whatever but single player experience let us do whatever the fuck we want we own the game it's our game let us do whatever you want so capcom get your shit together and stop fucking with the mod community well that being said that's going to do it for my video. If you're new to the channel, please comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know your opinion on this whole Capcom DM bullshit. And until next time, guys, stay safe. Have a good one. More videos are coming soon. This is your boy, Mrs. Degenerate, signing out. Have a good one.